Hey everyone, welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I will be looking at next week's ultimate stage card, Commandment of Love, Esta Rosa. Looking at his leader skill, he actually has a pretty good damage multiplier, but it pales in comparison to other meta dark leaders. However, if you lack any dark leaders, you can use him until you get a really good one. Next, let's take a look at his active skill. His active skill has a 7 round cooldown and has the following effects. First, you generate 8 enchanted demon dark runes in 2 random corners. I'm guessing that you will convert 4 runes per corner. For the next effects, for 1 round, dark attack and recovery gets doubled, and if an enemy is defeated, the skill CD will get reduced by 3. This means that counting the round transition, you can activate this skill again in 3 turns. In my opinion, this skill is not bad. Generating attacking runes is always good, but the random aspect is a bit unfortunate since you don't have complete control over it. However, that is only important against certain enemies, so it's not a complete deal breaker. On the other hand, the times 2 multiplier for dark attack and recovery is pretty good in my opinion. The current meta leaders don't have much trouble healing, but the recovery boost will be pretty useful against overheal shields or recovery debuffs. The CD reduction is just a bonus that is always nice to have. Overall, I do think this skill is pretty generic and pretty vanilla, but I can see it being pretty useful. Next, I will give you the reason why I think this card has a lot of potential. Let's take a look at his team skill. For his team skill, members with attack basic value lower than Esta Rosa will get a times 2 boost in attack, while members with higher attack basic value will have their attack become 0. Based on the other commandment cards, the condition will probably be that Esta Rosa has to be on the team, which makes this an easy condition to fulfill. I think that depending on what Esta Rosa's attack is, this skill could be really broken. For those that don't know, attack basic value refers to the attack number that you see when you long press the card during battle. Demon cards usually have the highest attacks in the game, so I'm excited to see which cards will benefit from Esta Rosa's team skill. Additionally, attack basic value can also be influenced by dragonware, so you can equip Esta Rosa with the demon dragonware to increase his attack and potentially increase the range of members with lower attack than him. The main thing I'm waiting for is to see if he has a higher attack basic value than AR Gemini. AR Gemini actually keeps his attack basic value constant even when you accumulate his passive multiplier. If Esta Rosa has a higher attack than him, this means that Gemini will have a constant times 12 boost going on. I think this team skill is really cool and has the potential to make Esta Rosa a really good member card. We just have to wait and see what his attack value is. If his attack is high, maybe higher than 2000, then this card will be great. But if he has a low attack, then this card will be in my opinion pretty useless. Overall, I would recommend you to get this card since it has the potential to give you a times 2 constant multiplier while having a good generic skill. I can see him working well in an Enkidu team, or any team that can fit a Dark Demon. Again, we will still have to wait and see if his attack value is high enough before deciding if he is worth farming. I will post a video again once he's out and I can test things out. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and as always, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Stay tuned for more content on my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!